What's up dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another episode with your favorite hooligan. And welcome back to Miss Evelyn. She is back from the shop. She has healed very nicely. A couple little scars left over, but that's okay. They'll heal in time. But the, the big wounds are healed up and yeah, she's back on the road. I actually got her back. What's today? The the 25th. So she came home about seven days ago, a week ago. I've been pretty busy. Stuff's going on. Not like bad stuff, just just stuff in general, life in general. And so I haven't said anything on the Instagrams at which. I will before this video comes out because well it's easier to put a picture up than it is to put a video up it's a lot quicker imagine that Empire got her fixed up really nice since I wasn't having insurance go through on this I ended up uh, deciding to pay out of pocket which kind of sucks but I just didn't think there was enough to get insurance involved. But since it was gonna be out of my own pocket, they just did the main bits, which is fine because basically the main bits is what got damaged. The mirrors are gonna get changed at some point. So I don't really, I'm not worried about the mirrors. But the headlight bucket, the headlight ears, um, amazingly the bars are fine actually. Uh, I was shocked because I felt like I hit pretty hard. The bar survived. I don't know how, but they did. Left engine cover, shift assembly, and left foot control, or excuse me, left foot peg. Oh, here's some rocks right there. Try to avoid those. All that got replaced. I don't really feel like going into the story of why it took so long because it doesn't really matter. It was just it was just a mitts up uh, on a certain part, and you know we got it solved. It's no big deal. So I, I there I don't feel there's a reason to really go on about it, but. The main important thing is she is back, she is well, and she is singing very nicely. And that's what's important. So yeah, this is just a just a quick little update video. I was doing some applications this morning and uh, trying to focus on writing some cover letters and uh, looking over my resume and stuff because I need to find a part-time job here pretty soon. Because I'm tired of living paid it paycheck to paycheck. You guys know how it is. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have been in, in that position where it's, you know, you don't really have a lot of money for stuff. I mean, yeah, I'm getting paid to go to school, which is great. But at the end of it, um, have any money to go out and do things that I like to do so that's that's what I was doing today and well I I, I decided I need some fresh air and decided to take um, the slow back road well, it's not really a slow back road I mean you can haul ass on it if you really wanted to it, what is, what is this nutsack doing? You lost? Okay, you're lost. And just, just take a break. Get some fresh air. It's a good thing to do. That's a, a little life update. Uh, number one is, um, I'm looking for part-time work. Uh, preferably, 
uh, security work because that seems to be right up my alley. Brit Ninja 88 and myself can be security buddies from across the pond, as they say. The only difference is I'd be part time. Um, and that's just to work with school. Come next quarter, I'll be back in, back in school in, in the fall. And I want something that um, I can do after school for, you know, how many, how many hours I'm allowed to do or whatever. And still get my weekends to study and do schoolwork that needs to be done or, um, you know, uh, I, I do like having the Friday, Saturday, Sunday deal. I know I'm taking this like not super fast or anything. There's still sand in the road for some fucking reason. And I don't know. It's, I'm just feeling kind of relaxed. Uh, I'm not really wanting to romp on it. You know, just, just a nice casual stroll. What was that update? Number, number two? Uh, fuck, I lost count. Uh, so let me retrace. Uh, so bike's back. Uh, looking for work. Oh yeah, let's talk about school. So come, come full quarter. Uh, I have full quarter and a winter quarter left and I'm pretty much done. I, th I think that's, I think that's it. I'm, I'm done. I'll have my degree in uh, applied sciences, which, yeah, big fucking whoop. But hey, it's better than nothing. And after fall quarter, I could actually test to go get my aviation maintenance license. And hopefully be working in aviation after that. Yeah, this road is notorious for sand. Even even in the summer. It's just, I can still see it. It's not heavy, but I just don't like it. So that's pretty exciting. School's almost done. been up that road in my truck uh, kind of sketchy up there actually not like sketchy like bad roads or anything it's just just don't feel right I guess so that's number three number four I am actually moving into my own apartment yes the Donnie and I are splitting off not on bad terms of course we're best of buds. His life's going one direction, my life's going another direction, and it's just, it was it was gonna happen. It's just a matter of time, and that time is now. It's just time to get our own places. But obviously we're still gonna hang out. Of course, we're best of buds. It's just that uh, he's gonna be more north, and I will remain here in the valley in a much cheaper place too uh, that'll be nice especially if uh, you know funds so that's number four um, uh, let's see what else do I got going in my life do update videos since the incident I now have my camera with me at all times just to document anything that may happen I, I wish I, I, I really had it when the incident happened and I didn't so lesson learned uh, such a pretty view I'm gonna have to 
get a picture. Might go down here. Scout. I want to get something a little bit more open. I don't want to get the guardrail in there. Not really my thing. We'll just be careful. We'll we'll baby it. <laughs> hey, Brit Ninja eighty eight. I can flat foot. <laughs> yep, that is. Quite pretty. And of course, we're going to do kickstand side for <laughs> yo-yo two wheels. <laughs> there we go. I haven't updated the uh, uh, channel picture thing a long time. Uh, that's still from when, uh, before I even motovlogged. Okay. Uh, let's see. Life updates are done. Picture is done for the Instagram. Yeah, see, there's a. That's why you wear gloves, and that's a good glove. If all that that's that's all that happened. So, anyways, as always, keep it easy, make it breezy. It's good hanging out with you guys again. Yeah, this is nice. I've missed this. See you guys later. So, uh, easy does it. Sure, my right. Careful not to scratch the exhaust. Everything's gravy. Oh shit! So I totally forgot uh, to mention this as well. So future videos, right? Um, So, in the future, in the soon future, I will be doing a, a, a challenge video, I guess, that has been, I don't know if it's been going around or, or what, but it's, I guess, three reasons why you ride the bike you ride, or why you ride, or a bit of both. I think it's a bit of both. A bit of both. Well, Brett Ninja was going to nominate a few people. Cestrian, his brother, couldn't nominate him because he decided to figure out what asphalt tastes like. <laughs> uh, that, that's mean. I'm glad you're okay, buddy. Uh, hopefully you're back up on your bike. He was going to nominate me, which... Coincidentally, 
around the same time as Cestrian. I had my incident, so I was out of a bike. And he was going to nominate Salvadorian Boy, who also coincidentally was out of a bike. I guess he'd never really nominated anyone, per se, but in spirit, he was going to nominate one or all three of those people, one of those including myself, and so improper I am going to honor that wish and does the 3R video thingy so that will be coming relatively soon numero 2 so Doodles and Motocarry did a long term review of the uh, 2018? Was it 2018? 2019, maybe? 2018. Uh, sorry if I got it wrong. Um, but they did a long term review of the Street Triple 765. And by popular demand, uh, and when I say popular demand, I mean Sir Flesh Wound. <laughs> Uh, I have made a comment saying maybe I should do a long-term review of the Threadston. Granted, I've had this thing for over four years now. I'm sure I'm long overdue. That's okay because these bikes are still sought out after. Sought out after? Sought out after. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, okay. So I thought, well, maybe I will do one. And Sir Flesh Wound highly suggested that I must indeed do, and so I shall indeed will. I think Moto Carry might have had something else to do with that too. Possibly. Maybe. Ah, potential. I don't know. So that is another future video that will be coming out is... term review of the Thurston. So yeah, those are two future videos. Oh, fuck a duck. So WAMU, Washington Motor Vlogger Meetup. Um, yes. So the official date is August 31st at Richmond Beach. Is it Richland? Richmond. Fuck. I think it's Richmond. Richmond Beach. That is where I've decided to do the first ever WAMU. It's more or less uh, just a trial. Uh, see how it goes. I think it'll do. I think it'll be fun. Because I am not attuned with the social medias. having a hard time building a page for the whole meetup thing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not fucking racing you. I don't feel like it today. So, if any of you guys know how to create a page for like events and stuff, let me know because I have no idea what I'm doing. That is the official date, it is August 31st. So, it'd be great if you guys can make it. Alright, now you can stop watching.